Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today, I'm going to share with you some new Toy Story Alien Remix figures. Yes, they're still making Alien Remix figures. It's been like five years since they originally started doing them. Um, lots of different companies do them, so uh, I guess they kind of create their own designs and submit uh, for approval, and then they produce them. There's a, a new company. They're not a new company, but I've never collected anything, I don't think, from them in the past. Uh, it's called Monogram Toy Company, and uh, they produce bag clips, uh, keychain accessories like toys that attach to your keychains, and a bunch of other figures. I'll leave some information about them in the description, um, because at first I wasn't sure who they were, because like I said, I've never gotten anything from them. But uh, I wanted to make this video a few days ago. I um, Unfortunately, it was like totally wiped out. I didn't wake up today until like 3 p.m. I mean, I was awake, but I just kind of sat in bed for a while. Um, but I've been missing you guys. I really enjoy doing these videos. And we've uh, acquired a bunch of new subscribers. Um, I was mentioned on a few websites. Uh, the Ellers Danlos website uh, did a, um, shared my last video I did about living with Ellers Danlos. And uh, I'll eventually... I'm going to produce some videos um, letting people know who have Ellers Danlos how to survive going to Disney World. Um, it's it's a lot on the body, um, especially if you're trying to do full days, which we attempted to do. And we did have a rest a few times, but uh, otherwise I had a fantastic time. I really enjoyed uh, going to Disney World. The ride home was rough because, yes, we did drive all the way down because I actually had to pick up a big fig from a friend of mine, um, Aaron. Uh, if you're watching this video, I greatly appreciate your help. Um, and he is someone like uh, many of you who I met many years ago online and became good friends with. And I see him off and on. It's been a very long time since I, I've known him. I think over uh, 2010 um, is, or before then, I actually um, was friends with him. So uh, I appreciate his help of getting me uh, a big fig that I'll share with you in another video. But let's get to this one. Um, there's two new figures. Um, I'm curious to see if they're going to make other ones. I'm not sure if they're only doing two or additional ones. I would like additional ones. They always seem to, to choose the same characters, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Um, as you know, two of the big toy companies, Funko, and then there's um, Beast Kingdom or Hero Cross, who make uh, Toy Story figures. Also, um, the ones I'm going to show you an example of is Hero Cross, when they made the Swarovski Crystal um, Toy Story figures. And the um, some of the buttons and stuff are actually crystals, which I absolutely love these. These have got some weight to them, but Funko also makes a big version. This bad boy you could probably kill someone with. It, it, uh, it's really heavy. It's very solid. Um, you can move his head back and forth, but uh, he's completely solid. Uh, big boy. You wouldn't want to have this fall on your head. So uh, I should weigh this. Got it. It's a, excuse me, at least seems like five pounds. Um, as you heard, sorry, I got the hiccups all of a sudden. Um, so I'm going to show you these. Um, I, these are actually PVC banks. So you can put your money in the back of him. The color's a little off compared to uh, this green. They're a little bit more yellow. But uh, I'm okay with that. There's some variations of... Uh, other companies who make light versions also. Um, this one I like because he has the eyelids. A lot of the um, other companies, including Funko, don't put eyelids, so they look a little... This is more accurate to the to the movie, I would say, than these, um, because they don't have eyelids on the top of their eyes, which kind of makes them a little freaky. Um, I really like these this way. Um, you can't move anything on these. It is just a PVC bank. Um, and for, you're paying like $20 for these, so, uh, I didn't expect tons of things, but, uh, it has nice detail. I will say the paint job isn't perfect on these. Um, I, I guess I expect too much out of any company. Um, just myself, I'm a perfectionist, so I, I don't like any missing paint on areas and so on. Um, but on the back, you can see this, they have a tiny little slot in the back, Looks like mostly for coins and maybe rolled up uh, dollar bills or whatever. But as you can see, 
the paint job isn't perfect. I mean, I might go in and just touch it up myself because I can match any paint color um, that I need to. But um, otherwise, it's a lightweight figure because you're filling it with money. So it really doesn't need to be a thick figure. I mean, it, you can't push it in or anything. It's a strong PVC. But uh, I really like these. As soon as I saw these, I had to get them. Um, they are on Entertainment Earth and Amazon. Originally, I found them on Entertainment Earth. But Entertainment Earth is uh, kind of, I hate to say it, annoying to deal with sometimes because this is already available. Obviously, I have it in my hand. But they have it listed as, I think, almost a year away or less um, as a pre-order. But uh, obviously these are already available because I have it in my hand. So I went to Amazon and found it there and you're getting free shipping. Um, whereas Entertainment Earth, you're paying full a price and then you're paying extra for shipping where Amazon, you get it for free. So um, overall, I would give this probably a 9 out of 10 design wise. Um, it could do with a better paint job. And uh, I don't expect a Ted to move to put money into. So this one is the Buzz Lightyear, which I absolutely love. I'm hoping they come out with more because, like I said, it seems like the big releases um, because there is. Uh, let me see. Actually, the the two big releases uh, for Funko are this one, Sully and Woody are the only two that they make. Um, and as, as you can see on the bottom, I didn't take the sticker off, but that's where you take the, uh, cap off to get your money out of. And, uh, so I, I really like this one. It's a great addition to my collection. Um, uh, like I said, the paint jobs, not hundred percent, as you can see from the black area also not perfect, but, uh, still a great figure. Um, I think there was one thing I wanted to touch up also, but, uh, so there's the Buzz Lightyear one. And as I mentioned, oddly, they then just choose Sully again. So, um, I'm not sure the reasoning, if they plan on uh, releasing more of these, I, I, if so, I will definitely have them. I'd like to see more, but, uh, I wouldn't really consider Sully to be one of the top Disney characters. I mean, there's so many, obviously there's so many to choose from. Um, but uh, here's, an, here's another one. I haven't really even looked at the paint job on this one yet. Um, it looks pretty decent. I like this one a bit more uh, than the Funko for, for a few reasons. Um, it's lighter. And uh, this one just doesn't really look like, I don't know, Sully or the Aliens so much. This has a lot more detail, as you can see. You can see all the fur lines where Funko only just has a few of them. And uh, this one is also, uh, let me see if these are, I think, yeah, this is a bit more accurate to the alien color because this one, uh, the PVC is not painted. So this is the actual color of the PVC. However, this one, this is painted on. Um, so it's a more accurate color. So I do like that. Um, Overall, the paint job is pretty good. It has a little sticky spot on here. I need to use some gooby going to get off. I think that was from the mat that they use to protect these when they're painting different sections. And uh, so this one also has the um, coin thing at the bottom and the slot on the back. Um, some other one, a stitch one I have, the slot on the back is gigantic. It's like this wide. I guess that you're putting big bills in and, and Asia maybe is different than the coins and stuff that we use in the United States or they just choose to do it that way. Um, but uh, overall, I'm very happy with these. I mean, they're only like 20 bucks where, um, if you hear a noise, my cat's going nuts playing with stuff. But this one, um, is extremely heavy as I mentioned but uh, they're close to the same size but this one definitely looks more like um, the real aliens than this does I know Funko with their big eyes I just I don't really care for that but I kind of had to have it but this I think was 30 35 dollars and this one is 20 and uh, honestly I like this one better um, it's just uh, the colors are a little lighter but uh, I, I do like it a lot so if you're looking to get these, you can go to Amazon. I would suggest doing it on Amazon because you get free shipping. Um, Entertainment Earth and other places, you're gonna pay for shipping. So, um, But I would definitely give this a thumbs up on purchasing. These are awesome and I hope there's going to be more. 
and uh, I appreciate all the new followers I've gotten. Um, they mentioned to me on, uh, or they started sharing my videos on the Ehlers Danlos website, which is the connective tissue disorder I live with, unfortunately. And so uh, I appreciate them doing so, and I will have some more cool videos for you guys soon. I hope you enjoy these. Um, and I will, let me see if I can hold these up. That's my thumbnail, I guess. Actually, I have a different one, but uh, maybe I should just do it this way. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just being silly. I overslept too much, I guess, today. But uh, anyways, love these figures. Definitely check them out if you're uh, interested in Toy Story figures. These are really cool and at a great price. And uh, if you haven't already, please. And I greatly appreciate you guys and have a magical day. Bye-bye.